Right, Donna, I think we deserve a break. Good idea. This has to be the worst summer job I've ever had. What, worse than the cockle farm? Fair enough. But I do need to get a serious job, and that will probably take me south. Mm. Can't you see yourself staying here, then? No. I do love seeing my folks, but I just don't see myself as one of the grow-your-own mob. Mm. My sister-in-law is obsessed with her tomatoes, and I just don't see myself arm-wrestling my brother for the croft. I don't know what I'm going to do when I finish. I would like to set up my own business, but the council aren't interested in anything that doesn't take place in a tractor or a boat. Powers that be have always got their heads stuck in the sand when it comes to new ideas. Mm. Donna? Where did you get back? Just this week. How are you, Mark? Ah, same old, same old. Customers get fewer, tips are less. Here, have we got a new seasonal menu? Mm. Lots of fresh local produce. Looks good. nice. Aye, most of it comes more or less than 15 miles away. Mm. Not that we can afford to eat here and what we earn. Ah, at least you've got a job. Most young folk can't get work at all. You sound like my granddad. How is your granddad these days? He's alright. He has people who nip in on him from time to time to give him a hand. But Mum says if his leg gets worse, he'll hate to move in with us. It's not like we have much choice. Mm. My grand's thinking about moving to Edinburgh. That's a big move. What's in Edinburgh? My aunt, my uncle. Most of my cousins, I think. She was telling me the other day that you used to be able to get a flight down on Friday night, come back up on Sunday morning. No. And she also said that <laughs> there was a boat every night. Can you imagine that? <laughs> no, I can hardly afford the petrol to get off to Whiteness on Saturday. Oh, hi, Donna. I didn't know you were back. Just for the summer. Yeah, that's what I thought. I've been here nearly two years now. <laughs> Great use of your archaeology degree, isn't there? Thank you, Mark. You can keep your sarcasm to yourself. Should have followed my example. Left school, joined here, stayed here, basically. Actually, I've got an interview with the firm in Edinburgh next week, but I haven't told my mum yet. I know she'll be upset if she thinks I'm going away and not coming back. I don't want to hurt her feelings, but I'm at a real dead end here. You wait here for some time, won't you? I know, I know. What was it my dad used to say? Them numpties put all their eggs in one great big renewables basket and then drop the basket. He would then go and say several other things about that generation of councillors, which I cannot repeat in company, but I seem to remember the words rabbits in headlights in there somewhere. Your dad used to work for the council, didn't he? Well, back then practically everybody worked for the council, but then all the big cuts came and like a heck of a lot of people, he lost his job. My auntie was a classroom assistant. She still does some child-minded now. She also works in the local shop. People seem to prefer walking to the shop than spending all that money on petrol just to go to the supermarket. My uncle used to work on the roads. Now he minds the croft and he does a bit of fishing. Probably caught the lobsters in your menu. Right. Dad does get a bit mad about it sometimes, though. He thinks that what with the way things are now, the croft should have been divided up equally. Can I help you, sir? Yes, I'm here to see the manager. Wait a minute. Aren't you Lauren? Lauren Jameson? That's right. I used to go to school with your dad. We were at the Scalwood School until it closed, and then we transferred to the Anderson. Everyone ends up there sometime. <laughs> I read, right, that there used to be a secondary school on Skerries. Can you imagine that? <laughs> <laughs> no way. That's right. beyond me. Come on, Lucy. We've got to get to the hall first. I want to be closest to the band tonight. Right, we still need one more person in the car though before we can afford the petrol. Oh yeah. Oh, I've heard they're really good. Can I come? Definitely, come along. Um, would you like to have a look at our new seasonal menu and I'll just fetch the manager for you. Thank you. Let's see. Shetland butter steamed lobster. Scaled smoked crab patty. Seaweed fed slow roasted lamb shank. Nest tatties. Quaff hot house pineapples. Stephen. Malcolm, so glad you could make it. Oh, I'm glad I could come. The place has changed so much, it's unbelievable. Well, how long has it been since you left? It must be, what, ten years? I mean, I tried to make a career here, but you know what those guys at the council are like. It's like banging your head off a brick wall. You can hardly blame them, though, after the renewable energy project of the decade went belly up. It's no wonder half the councillors spend their time with their heads down. God forbid someone has an idea. 
You remember what happened the last time that happened? Yeah, and you know the worst thing was we could all see it coming. I could do nothing, just sit back and watch after mistake after mistake was made. Anyway, how's business? Been better, been worse. We don't get as many eco-tourists as we used to. However, we still get a fair few folk who are interested in the old industries. We've been running some fair knitting workshops. Oh yeah, and I've seen from the menu all kinds of growing and catching food going on. Really impressive. That was the wife's idea actually. We've got a few tables booked for tonight. Although, most folk nowadays can't really afford to go out for a meal on a whim, you know. I mean, we've got a couple of business types in at the moment though. I've still got a cousin who works up at Sun and Fo. You know, that's one of the benefits of the high oil prices. It's kept that place going. Yeah, that's true. And I hear that they're starting some deep sea activity west of Shetland, although that's got some people's hackles up. Speaking of rumours, I've heard that the SIC is going to get amalgamated into some mega Highlands and Islands Council. I really hope not. It's bad enough that we've been amalgamated with Orkney into one ward in the Scottish Parliament, one SNP between us. Even less of a voice for Shetland. Yeah. You know, now that you're thinking of coming back up here, you should run for council. We could really use you up here. New voice, new ideas. I don't know, Stephen. I mean, it's nice enough to come up for a visit, but move back and work for the SIC. I'll be doing my head in. Yeah, well, let's be honest, that was never really your kind of thing, was <laughs> it? Mm. Well, you can't blame me for trying. I'll tell you. Come down to the kitchen, we'll see how dinner's doing. You hungry? Yeah. Good stuff. Have you seen, checked out the menu yet? Yeah, really good. Good stuff. I'm getting something good on your mind. Ha, ha, ha.